either all the way or part way. One thing about it though, if you think you're if you think people are going to see you being recorded, you usually do even better. You work even harder. At least that's the way most people are. When somebody's watching you, you do your best. <laughs> Take a few deep inhales and exhales. And just notice if you feel a difference in your right and left arms, shoulders sides. And then inhale your right arm up. And exhale slowly lower down. You could do this with your eyes closed part way or all the way. And again, notice your arm and shoulder are moving, but notice as you reach up, even though you're not super active, you're still stretching your side. So you could do this like when you're laying down in bed or on the floor if you've got room. If you don't have room out to the side, you could reach your arm up and over like that. And even though you're not doing a real big active stretch, you're still gently stretching through your sides there. So your abdominal muscles expand, your ribs expand. Lay back, feel the support of your chair or your block. And then go ahead and shift forward and bring your blocks with you if you have them. If you don't, just turn your feet straight ahead, your knees straight ahead. Feel those forces of energy, that pushing down, the drawing up through the arches of your feet, through your heart, through the expansive energy, your shoulders getting wider. See if you can shift your shoulders back over your hips. And as you exhale, squeeze your blocks a little, draw your abdominal muscles and feel that support. Oh, if you're like, there's such a big difference between me being here and then shifting my shoulders back I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to work. I can feel that all the way down in my glutes. Good, so you're in charge of where you feel that. Inhale, press your feet down, reach your arms forward and up. Keep pushing your feet down, and then as you exhale, sweep your arms and push your feet down even more. Deep inhale, push down. Imagine we could jump up and reach up, stretch up like you're jumping up. And then exhale, push your feet down. See if you can, we're not going to jump up, thank goodness, but maybe activate those muscles a little more. Wake something up in your legs there. And then bring your left hand to your right leg. Try to keep pushing your right foot, your right hip down, and reach up, up, up. And then reach over. And keep pushing your right foot, your right hip towards the chair. And think more about reaching up and then reach over. If you feel more stable, you could bring your hand to the left side of your chair to help you keep lifting up. I'd rather see you lift it up. I know it's a bigger stretch if you reach over, but be real mindful to be active. Good. And then reach up, Whew. pat yourself on the back and massage your right arm, your right tricep. And then bring your right arm forward and across your body and massage your outer arm, your outer shoulder. Set your arm down, take a few deep breaths here. Notice again each side of your body, each shoulder, each hand, each arm. Noticing any sensation, any non-sensation. You might even feel a difference down through your legs. And then bring your right hand to your left leg. Push your left foot down and reach up, stretch up. So now we're more active, still feeling those downward moving energies, pushing your hip, your foot down, the upward moving energy, reaching up, 
that's activating and stretching those muscles. And then if you want, reach over a little more, but keep that action of pushing down and reaching up. Whew. Deep inhale. And remember, if it's better for you, bring your hand to the, the right side of the chair, especially you might do both for a little while because you could see there, I don't know if you can see me, but I was reaching over and that really helped me get reach up a little more. Then reach up, pat yourself on the back, massage your left arm, your armpit, your tricep, the Brady Bunch. <laughs> And then bring your left arm forward and across. Can you see each other right now? Yep, you can see each other, good. So then I can sing the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, that's the way we became. The Brady Bunch. Oh my gosh, I was such a Brady Brunch brat. <laughs> I always say I learned my morals and how to, I don't have brothers and sisters, so I learned about how brothers and sisters interact from the Brady Bunch. <laughs> okay, now keep pressing your feet down. If you have a strap, you might grab it for this. If you don't have a strap, no big deal. I'm gonna give you options. But I'd say the most challenging option is the strap with your arms out wide. I would bring it back behind your head and then reach it out wide. If you don't have a strap, the next chance, okay, everybody's got straps, yeah. Good, and so really draw your hands up, pull on the strap, feel that V on a body, that expansive energy, yes. Then lift up through your heart, push into your feet, squeeze your block, feel that inward moving energy, that samana, so those forces are working together. So you could just stay right here. If you want even more challenge, push your feet down, squeeze your blocks and rotate to your right. Keep reaching your arms wide and push into your left foot. Good, inhale forward. Don't get too hung up on which way you're going. Lean your head back and exhale, rotate to the other side and push into the opposite foot. So if you're going left, push right. If you're going right, push left. Inhale, reach open wide, deep inhale. Try to keep your arms open wide. There's a point when my arm wants to swing over, but don't swing as far, keep it, Thinking about lifting up more, you won't rotate as far, but oh my gosh, you'll activate more muscles. Inhale forward, woo, reach open, rotate to your left. So if I let my right arm swing forward, it'll be a little easier, but if you keep it wide and push into your right foot, it'll be harder, oh my gosh. And then inhale forward, should we do one more? You got it, rotate right. I think we did more than usual, push left. Good, inhale forward wherever you are, rotate the other way, lift up through the crown of your head and push the other side. Oh, inhale forward and then release your strap down. You can keep your block if you want. Keep your strap handy, it's summertime. We're gonna use our straps. Give yourself a knee massage and you can lean forward a little bit. If you're really doing all those things, you're really feeling your core, your, all those muscles work. So lean forward, that gives them a little bit of a break. Massage the back of your legs, the back of your knees. And then do a few cat cows. Inhale, reach your heart forward. And exhale, round out like a cat. And you can do our, our regular inhale, reach forward and back. If you want to try something new, you could do it a little bit differently. As you reach forward, you could bring your hands to your hips and think about letting your belly, your ribs, and then your chest fold forward and then pushing your feet down and looking forward, lifting your head, your shoulders, so kind of peeling your way up. That makes it a little harder. Whichever one you're doing, 
push into your feet and use your legs. So your legs are pushing no matter which version of that you're doing. One more deep inhale. If you're like, what is she talking about? Just keep moving gently. It's a very subtle difference. And then as you inhale forward, push your feet down, push your hands into your legs and rotate to your right. And as you tip to the right a little bit, push into your left foot. And then as you rotate around over to the other side, push into your right foot. And I'm pushing my foot down, but I'm pushing my hand into my leg to remind that whole left side from my hip all the way to my foot about that apana vayu, that downward moving energy, really trying to make my legs work a little bit here. And if you go slow, you'll work them even more. So as you come forward, start really slow, like you're in slow motion. The slower you go, the more your legs have to work because you don't have that momentum. You can hear it in my voice there, <laughs> momentum. And you're in charge. So if you're like, Shannon, Bananan, I don't want to work this hard today, it's okay. You can also do that more fluid one where your spine's more rounded and we'll get a chance for that one as well. One more deep inhale. And as you come forward, you could rest on your hands. You could come down to your forearms. If it feels better for you to rest back in your chair, you could rest back in your chair. Wherever you are, focus on your breath. Allow your abdominal muscles, your ribs, your chest expand. Notice if when we were really reaching out with our straps and rotating, that activates so many muscles of our core, of our back, of our arms. So you might have felt like you got a little warm there. So you could do a I like to do my cooling breaths here sometimes. And then in the summertime, I like to pretend like I'm a frog here. So when frogs, I don't know what they're doing. Are they breathing windy? I don't know, but they poof up. So their their backs and even their bellies, that outer layer of whatever it is. We'll have to have Wendy give us a biology lesson. But everything kind of poofs up. So imagine you're that frog. It's summertime, you're out at the pond on this warm day and let everything fill up as if you could fill up to your skin cells. I know we can't, but it's good to stretch those accessory muscles. Then look at your toes. If you're lean forward, come up extra slow because I talked too long there. Bring your hands to your legs, push your feet down, try to feel that pushing down, start to activate the muscles of your legs as you push up. Lift up long through the spine, feel the circulation come down from your head to your neck and shoulders. See if you can try to soften your shoulders down. Just a few more breaths, feeling everything get resettled. <clears throat> if you have a block, you can grab your block again. Lift up through the crown of your head and slowly let your right ear lower towards your right shoulder. And the longer you practice, the more you'll really start to notice that subtle little moment when your whole body starts to shift. If you're, if you're going fast, it won't be so subtle. You won't even notice it. It'll just happen. But the longer you practice, the more subtle things. So you're trying to keep your shoulders over your hips. And to do that, you could push into your left foot, your left hip a little more deep. Inhale, slowly gaze down towards your right armpit. Feel your abdominal muscles, your ribs, your chest expand. If you want more sensation, more stretch, lower your left arm down. 
And notice our head's leaning forward a little bit. So that could be pulling you over to the right leg a little. Keep pushing into your left foot and hip. You could use your right hand to push into your leg or your chair to help recruit those muscles to help you stay upright on the right side. And then on your next inhale, rotate your head looking up and to your left. And then exhale, gazing down, rotate your head and look to the right. And even your head rotating, you may notice may make your body move or wobble because I can feel that it's challenging my balance some here. So keep pushing into your feet. You might look out of the corner of your eyes a little more and then gaze down towards your right armpit. Then bring your right hand to the side of your head. Gently guide your head up and massage your right ear. And then rest back on your block if you have one. If you don't, just rest back and lift up to your chest. If you have been using a block, you might want to try the more narrow level this time. So now that it's, we're moving into towards summertime, it feels like it, Mother Nature says it's summertime, even if the calendar doesn't. Feel your abdominal muscles expand, your ribs expand. Feel the support of your chair. And the other thing I didn't say, if you don't have a block, you could still shift your hips forward a little bit and lay, and lay back and think about opening up. Good, I see people yawning. That means it's really working. The yoga, deep inhales and exhales. So you could do one arm at a time, or you could do both arms, reaching out and up. Exhale, lowering down. Deep inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, lowering down. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And just pause for a few moments. And anytime you think of it during your day, you have an extra few minutes, lay back and really try to, you could put a throw pillow or a towel behind you, behind your head, between your shoulder blades and really let that space right here open up. We were already doing this from the winter. You can go ahead and set forward. And then we were, doing this more to protect ourselves from the virus and now we're doing it more because other major life events or major world events are happening so we've got to be extra diligent at keeping this space our hearts open turn your toes straight ahead lift up through your heart and feel your spine strong and long and let your left ear slowly lower towards your left shoulder Deep inhales and exhales. Notice if you feel our head's like 10 pounds. So it's like, hey, come over here. So I feel that too. Push into your right foot, your right hip, trying to keep your shoulders over your hips. Take a deep inhale and gaze down towards your left armpit. Tune into your breath. Feel your abdominal muscles expand. Feel your rib cage expand. If you want more sensation, lower your right arm down. You may not need it on this side. Notice if there's a difference. And then begin to rotate your head. Deep inhale, looking up and to your right. Feeling how the movement of our head, it's like, you know, bowling balls weigh 10 pounds. So, and then slowly lower and look down towards your left armpit. So it makes sense that it would be pulling our body, our torso, challenging our muscles. 
Inhale, looking up and to the right. Squeeze your blocks a little more. Maybe look out of the corner of your eyes. And then gaze down. Notice if you're feeling similar stretches in similar places as you rotate one direction or if it feels different. I'm feeling this down into my arm on this side. And then as your head lowers to your left armpit, bring your hand to your left ear, guide your head back up, massage your left ear. And then go ahead and set your blocks down. Bring your strap with you since everybody's got straps. The main thing is make sure if you've got one that has a hard end that you're holding it so you don't clunk yourself with it. <laughs> I only know from experience. And you can adjust it however you want. I like to loop mine exactly in half and then hold each end. That just fits my body and it feels right for me. Um, if you want your arms to go wider, you can take them out wider. Um, go ahead and turn your right leg as much as you can to the right. If you have a block, you could put your foot underneath it. And your left leg, you can keep in temple pose there or if you want, you can stretch your left leg out towards me and move it back away from you any amount. And I don't know if you can see my left foot. Let me aim this down a little more. It's either off with my head or off with my feet sometimes. Yeah, so who cares? My head's hair's messed up anyway. So your foot, you can stretch it out just like this and you may feel these muscles on the outer leg working these muscles on the inside you can stay like this that was the first one i mentioned if you're out like this you might draw your foot oh back that way but oh maybe not quite so far so adjust as you need to Woo! that muscle didn't like that okay uh take your arms out wide tyler i can't see you i hope you're okay over there Hi, okay, you're okay. Oh shoot, now you can't see my arms. Okay, reach your arms out. That'll make you hold it longer. And try to turn your arms towards me. Good, reach out, push down into your feet. And imagine we're going bow hunting and look, reach your bow up and to the right, aim up towards the ceiling. Uh, other way, Shirley. Oh, my left leg's cramping. Look up to the right, keep reaching from end to end of your strap, deep inhale, pushing your feet down. And then aim your bow and arrow towards the floor like you're going fishing with your bow and arrow. And actually push your right arm and leg into each other as you aim down. It can be catch and release if you don't want to eat the fish. Reach your left arm up, push your left foot down, deep inhale. Lean your head back in line with your spine. And then inhale back to warrior two. Dun, dun, dun. And release. Okay, that was a lot. Rest. At least I thought it was. If you were doing all those little things, let your legs windshield wiper. And take some deep inhales and exhales. And your right leg and your left leg may have been doing two different things. So notice each leg. You might feel a difference. You might not. I'm just observing. One more deep inhale. Are you waving at me, Shirley? Oh, okay. <laughs> I had my eyes closed and I looked up and I saw something go like that and I thought, oh no, I missed somebody. She, 
Okay, switch sides. Let's do the other side. Bring your strap with you. So this leg may be different. My left leg, I don't know if it was the exercises I did yesterday, but it was not happy I, that I went so far. So really honor your body. Our bodies are different every day. And so your left foot will be turned to the left. If your leg's short like mine, you can put a block or telephone book. You can have both feet on the floor and do these arm movements. That's, you could stretch your right leg out. Oh, and back. Let's see how this leg really acts. If your leg's back, turn your big toes in. And then reach your strap out. If you have both feet on the floor, you want both knees aimed at your toes. So feel your feet push down. Lift up through your heart, feel your sitting pads press down, try to bring your ears in line with your spine and reach, really stretch your arms from end to end. Good, deep inhale, and then reach your right arm down and your left arm up. See if I can say it better this time. Good, push your left foot down. And I can feel my left leg swinging towards you. So make sure, try to aim your left knee towards your left toes. Mine doesn't want to do that today. And then bring your hand to the, your left hand to the inside of your left leg and push your arm and leg together. Good, push your right foot down, reach up through the right side, deep inhale. And then inhale back to warrior two. Oh, we forgot to go fishing, but that's okay. And release. Oh, set back in your chair. You can let your legs windshield wiper. One more deep inhale. And let's shift forward and bring your strap with you. Bring your strap to the ball of your right foot. You could also push your foot up against the wall or something steady to push your toes back. They have those things um, that rock. It's like a half circle and it rocks like that to stretch your calves. That might be something interesting to explore in the chair. I should see if I can find one of those. Okay, hold both straps, one strap in each hand. If you don't have a strap, try to draw your toes back. Everybody push your heel down and sit up long through the spine. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, reach your heart out and forward. Keep pushing your foot down. Try not to lock your knee. And you can also try to contract the top of your leg and that'll change where you feel the stretch. Inhale, backing up just a little bit. Exhale, reaching out and forward. One more deep inhale, keep rolling your shoulders back, lifting up through your heart. Think about reaching your heart towards your big toe. And then come back up. Take the strap into your left hand and we're gonna keep your right foot on the floor for now and then I'll give you the option to lift your leg. But I wanna explore uh, these two similar but different stretches. So hold the strap with your left hand. Bring your right hand to your low back. Push your sitting pads into the chair. Push your left foot down. Sit up long. Push your right heel into the floor. And then you could stay here or explore rotating to your right. On the inhale, push your heel down. Lift up long through the spine. Look over your right shoulder a touch more so you could stay there, or you're not gonna wanna stay there, slowly unwind, <laughs> slowly unwind. Let your foot relax. You can keep your strap on, but just let your foot kind of swish back and forth or rotate. So kind of notice where you felt that and where everybody will feel this different. 
And so some of you might have felt that on your IT band. You might have felt it different places on the back of your leg. You might not have. If that's your effective side, you may not have felt anything there. So you could stay there. If you want to lift your leg up, slide your right hand down the strap, push your left hand into your leg, and lift your right leg up. If you don't want to lift your right leg up, you could still push, lift up long, and reach your heart towards your big toe. Make sure you're not locking your knee here. Try to soften your shoulders. You could stay here or you could lower your foot down and we could all hold the strap in your left hand. So this is just the same version of what we did. Bring your right hand to your low back. Push your foot down, lift up long through the spine. Holy moly, I feel that in my IT band already. And then rotate to your right gently, it shouldn't hurt. Deep inhale, but depending on your IT band, you might feel it. And then slowly unwind, release your foot, remove your strap, rest back in your chair. So did you guys, did you feel that in the same place or different places? You can't, I can't hear you, so we don't know. Same? Everybody felt it in the same place, say yes, shake your head yes. Thumbs up, Susan says, okay. Was it more potent? Okay, Wendy says no. Was it di two different places, Wendy? Okay, good. Yeah. I am not good at charades, Tyler. I'm gonna undo you here. It won't let me unmute you. Can it wait? Oh, go ahead. Uh, all over. All over, yeah, that is a good one for all over, for sure. Okay, nice haircut. Okay, mute you. Okay, so let's do the other side. Then you may notice, I, as I got up and everything, I was like, wow, I'm feeling a difference in my right, in my, it's actually my left leg because I'm trying to mirror you. Okay, switch sides. So try to draw your toes back. Try not to lock your knee. So it's really the same stretch. I think of it as the same stretch from different perspectives. So holding both straps. Other things you might think about is as you're pulling on your strap, you're lifting up through your heart, you're really activating all those muscles of your back recruiting. And then you're gonna try to push your left heel down as you lift up through your heart and reach your heart towards your big toe. Trying to push your heel down. On the inhale, back away a little bit. Lift up long through the spine. Try to, try to keep your shoulders rolled back. And one thing I used to get in trouble with my teachers is my chin would jet forward. And she'd come over and hit me. She wasn't very nice. She was, I called her my mean yoga teacher, drill sergeant yoga teacher. She, popped me on the head one time and said, that's your ego, not your heart. <laughs> and she's right, because my in my brain, my thinking mind is like, I gotta get down there. So I was doing that more. And if you move from here, your heart, your sternum bone, it shifts your ischial tuberosity back. And I wasn't listening to her. But I don't do, I don't pop people in the head. Okay, so you could stay there. Hold the strap with your right hand, sit up long through the spine and bring your left hand to your low back. Push your left heel into the floor, lift up long through the spine. You may feel it already, some of us. And then oh, rotate to your left gently. Deep inhale, lengthening, feel your sitting pads press down, your spine strong and long and gently rotating. Notice where you feel this. And then slowly unwind, relax your foot a little bit, relax your spine just a little bit, give yourself a little break, and kind of remind yourself where you felt that. The other thing is this side may be completely different from the other side. Okay, if you want, you could stay here doing everything lower. If you want to lift your leg up, slide your hand down your strap, 
push your right hand into your left hand leg. Use that energy to help you lift up. Check in, try not to lock your knee there. So you could stay here or hold the strap with your right hand. The difference today, instead of us reaching back like that, I'm having you bring your hand to your low back. Push your sitting pads down, lift up long through the spine, push your right foot down, and then rotate. So you can be up higher, similar stretch as the one we did down low. So if that feels like too much, no problem. One more deep inhale, and then slowly unwind. Slowly lower your foot down. You can set your strap aside. Try to rotate your left ankle. And tell me, let's see, tell me about that exploration. Did that side feel the same as the other side or different? Different. different. Yep. Did you feel it uh, in different places or was it, did you not feel it at all or? Just because that foot's numb, so. Okay, because of the, your affected side, okay. Um, the other difference is usually I have you guys reach back like that, which can rotate you really big, but I thought having your hand here was gonna make you lift, lengthen up more and work all those posture. And sometimes when I do that, I really feel it more in my IT band. So I, that's why I try to change it up just a little. Okay, let's lay back and hug your right leg in and we'll do your pigeons. You're muted again, so you'll have to wave at me. Boy, yesterday would have been a good day to be rolling on the river. Sorry I keep talking about it, Wendy. <laughs> Go the other way. I'm going to look back at my old Instagram pictures and look at some of the creek recordings I made of the cool creek water. Good. Then shift forward. Everybody will be a little different here. So you could put your, you could simply bring your feet together and push your right leg open and sit up like that. It's the same stretch. These are all getting same muscles. The higher you bring your foot up so you could stack one block. I have a little footstool I use sometimes. You can use a chair. Eventually, you'll cross up higher, but do what's best for you. Push your toes back towards your shin and bring your right hand to your hip. You can see me, I'm kind of lean forward a little bit, kind of relaxed here. Now push your left foot down and sit up long through the spine and notice that that starts to change where you feel the stretch. It does for me, it may not for you, and then you're gonna reach out and forward. The place I don't want you to feel this is in your knee. So be careful, that's why I've got your, told you to I put my hand back here because that my ego, my ego wants my leg to go down. And it is going, going in that direction over time, but we want to let it do its, its own thing. Sometimes, sometimes we do other stuff gently. But you shouldn't be feeling this in your knee. Take three deep inhales, each exhale, sigh out through your mouth. I'm gonna close my eyes so you can stick your tongue out, cross your eyes. That's gonna help the muscles of your throat, your jaw, your face and eyes relax. One more deep inhale. And then come all the way back up, cross your right leg over farther. If you don't wanna go do that, you can bring both knees together. Either way, feel your right hip push down towards the chair. Bring your right hand to your low back and sit up long through the spine. And think about, you know, when I, you have the block and I tell you to squeeze the block, think about squeezing your inner thighs together. I don't know if you can see it in my body, but when I do that, I kind of pop up a little bit. Lift up long through the spine and then gently rotate to your right. Deep inhale, keep pushing your right hip down towards your chair as you lift up long through the spine. Deep inhale. 
And then slowly align. Rest back in your chair. Put your legs windshield wiper. And before we do the other side, just take a few moments to notice each side, your right and left hip, your right and left low back. One more deep inhale. And then hug your left leg into your body and rotate your left hip in one direction. And the other direction. And shift forward. This side might be different, so you could bring your feet together and gently guide one leg over and sit up and hinge. If it's okay, you could stack on a block, a stool, a chair, eventually crossing up here. Flex your toes towards your shin. And just notice, so I don't, you probably can't see me very well, but this side of my body is stronger. So this knee's up a little higher because those muscles are tighter. So that's okay. I'm just gently letting them move towards the floor. Bring your left hand to your hip and sit up long through the spine and reach out and forward. Now backing up, so we're pushing our toes back to give us our most potent stretch, but it also helps protect our knee. It helps to activate the muscles around our knee when we push our toes back. One more deep inhale. Actually three more, each exhale out through your mouth. Deep inhale, stick your tongue out, cross your eyes, release your throat, face, your eyes, one more. And then yogi choice, you could bring both knees together or you can cross your left leg over your right leg and just notice when you do that, your left hip kind of lifts up a little, maybe. Let your left hip get heavy into the chair. Bring your right hand to your leg and your left hand into your low back. Feel your, the foot that's on the floor push down as you lift up, deep inhale. And then exhale, rotate to your left. Deep inhale, feeling both hips push down towards the chair as you lift up long. And then slowly in line. And cross your legs, rest back in your chair, and let your legs be show wiper. And just pause a moment, notice any sensations, any non sensations, any changes. And then shift forward. If you have a block, grab it. We'll do one more round of neck stretches, another layer. It's 1057. I forget which days you have meetings and such. So if you need to be somewhere at 11, it's 1057. You got to promise me a, a few minutes of rest later. If you can stay, make a gentle fist and tuck your right arm behind you. Oh, rewind. Everybody's got straps. Grab your strap. <laughs> and again, hold those loose ends, that especially if you've got a hard plastic or metal, in your left hand. And reach your left arm up. And I'm reaching my arm straight up towards the ceiling. And then I'm bending my arm like I'm trying to scratch my back. And then you're going to tuck your right arm behind you. Good. Nobody ran away. I thought all of a sudden you remember your 11 o'clock appointments. This one's kind of hard. 
and you're walking your hands, I'll show you, you're walking your hands towards each other as much as you can, it shouldn't hurt. Believe it or not, some people can touch their hands, some of you may be able to, but it's not a goal. But that's the, our potential range of motion. Now you're gonna tug your top strap up, like you're pulling, and when you do that, your left hand may slide up a little bit, and then push your left hand into your back. Look straight ahead, tug on your top strap as you push your left hand into your back. One more deep inhale, gently tug while you press and release. Just a few shoulder rolls. That was not a neck and shoulder stretch. Oh yes it was, because it gets underneath your shoulder blade, your subscapularis. So you may not have felt it, but it is all connected. Now bring your right arm up with your strap. Bend your elbow, pat yourself on the back. And when you do that, your head's probably like, okay, I'll get out of the way. So look forward. Oh goodness, you'll feel a big stretch through your chest. Tuck your left arm behind you. Walk your hands towards each other. Notice this side might be different. They may be closer or not as close. Doesn't matter. You're going to tug your right hand up so you're pulling up with your right hand and pressing your left hand into your back. Deep inhale or whichever side, the hand that's up you're gently tugging up, the hand that's on the bottom you're pushing into your back. One more deep inhale And then slowly release your strap down. Rest back in your chair, but keep your block handy. I'm sorry. That was an add-on. Spontaneous add-on. It's kind of like when you go to the grocery store and they have those chocolate bars with raspberry in them that are out of your budget. <laughs> One more deep inhale. But you just splurge anyway, because you've been really good. Okay, let's stretch your necks. So shift forward and grab your block. And if it's okay for you, tuck your right arm behind you again and make a gentle fist. And again, you're just gently pushing your arm and your back and then feel your abdominal muscles hug in. Take a deep inhale and look over your left shoulder your abdominal muscles, your ribs, your chest. You might feel this in your shoulder, down into your arm, into your bicep. One more deep inhale. If you want more stretch, look out of the corner of your eyes. And then slowly look straight ahead. Lift up through the crown of your head and slowly let your left ear lower towards your shoulder. Deep inhales and exhales. If it feels like too much, you can lift your head up just a little bit. Notice what this feels like compared to when your arm was down by your side. And then make a few little circles with your nose in one direction. And in the other direction. And then bring, oh, take a deep inhale, look down towards your left armpit and take a few breaths there. Feel your abdominal muscles, your ribs, your chest. You might feel that into your shoulder and arm. And then bring your left hand to the side of your head. Press your head up, unwind your shoulder and do a few right shoulder rolls. It may feel kind of stuck after that, but it'll get some circulation in some good places there. And then pause a moment, sit up nice and strong. If it's okay for your left shoulder, make a gentle fist and tuck your left arm. Feel your abdominal muscles, your ribs, your chest expand. Gently press your arm into your back. And then look over your right shoulder. Each inhale, feel your feet press down, your heart lifting up. 
As you exhale, look out of the corner of your eyes a little more. Feel your abdominal muscles hugging and supporting. Inhale straight ahead. As you exhale, very slowly let your right ear lower down. You can look straight ahead. And then let your right ear lower towards your right shoulder. Deep inhales and exhales. Notice that this side feels different and then gain, oh, make little circles with your nose. Deep inhale, little tiny ones and then the other direction. And now gaze down towards your right armpit. Take three more giant breaths there. Feel your full lung capacity. This is the last thing we're doing. The deepest breaths you've taken all day. And then release your arm, bring your right hand to your head and guide your head up and massage the top of your head. Avoid your eyes, stay way up there, away from them, massage your sides of your head, the back of your head, where the back of your head meets the back of your neck. And then you can rest back with or without your block. You can have your palms face down. You could turn your palms face up. If you have a special mudra that you've learned that you want to use, you Sometimes I like to turn my palms face up just as receiving. Receiving. Letting my body do the work right now as I lay here and breathe. Receiving my breath. Letting my body receive gravity in the chair. Just tune into how you're feeling physically. Notice any changes physically, mentally. You notice any changes in your breath. Bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand over your left hand. Just take a few moments, acknowledge yourself, thank yourself for tending to your body in these ways. And then send some good energy, some healing to someone that you know that may need it or maybe a group of people that might need it. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and taking care of yourself. Namaste. I'm going to unmute you. That strap work makes it way harder, doesn't it? For me, I really feel that work my back muscles and stuff. How come I can't hear you? Is that, because it, um, I think everyone has to unmute themselves, too.